Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to what is going to be a very, very brief car boot haul video. I went to two car boot sales today. I went to uh, Easter Compton, which I always go to, and then we were going to go home and we suddenly said, oh, let's try Clifton. Now, the, you don't hear me talk about the Clifton car boot so much. I haven't been for a few years. And generally because there are two my side of town, so why would I go across town to go to a different one? But I didn't think Trench Lane was going to be on this morning because we had so much wet over the weekend. And looking at Facebook, it seems as though it wasn't on either. So people seem to say they turned up and there was nothing there. So we thought, oh, we'll give Clifton a go. I won't be going again. Just it's not for me. And I'll get onto that maybe more in a bit. But I bought hardly anything at Easter Compton. And that's why I thought, oh, we'll go to, we'll go to Clifton and see what we can get there. Because I bought barely anything at all. You can probably hear Darcy growling off screen. She's, I don't know, fighting with her own foot or something. I don't know. So this is my Clifton stuff. And then in the trolley is my Easter Compton stuff. And there's nothing there. Literally, it's, I'm, I'm going after right in, way to get anything. I only purchased off two sellers, one of which was Steve. I spent £6 with Steve and £1 with somebody else. So I didn't do fill a bag with Steve. I couldn't be bothered. I just, I don't think I have been buying it on. I don't think I was in buying mode. I walked around that car boot sale and I know I've said this over and over again, but it's more and more recurrent traders, more and more the same people with the same stuff. So many stores that I barely glance at because I can see that their stock hasn't changed from one month to the next. So I think, I don't know, maybe I'm just not feeling the car boot love at the moment. Definitely not feeling the charity shop love. I'm able to drive past charity shops now without even thinking about going in. Maybe I need to quit eBay altogether. Anyway, from Steve, within, within my six pounds we got a paw cleanser, muddy foot paw cleaner. It's medium, suitable for Australian shepherds, beagles, border collies, corgis and English bulldogs. Now, I would say that that is probably molly size. And it's one of those paw cleansers that you put water in this bit and then you can put their paws in there when they've got, when they come, you know when they come back with four welly, four brown wellies on from a walk, so you can put their paws in to clean it. It's silicon inside. So it's a silicon tube with the spikes inside to take the mud off and you put water in it and, whether it will do the job that we want it to do, or whether it will just turn out to be a little bit of a waste of money gimmick, I don't know. But it was in with my six quid from Steve. Also with my six quid from Steve is this Joseph Joseph thing. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Um, and I can't check because you're... I'm recording on my phone, which I don't normally do anymore. I'm recording on my but Joseph, I, Joseph Joseph Kitchen stuff always sells for decent money. It could just be a dip tray. I don't know. Normally I would do a Google image search and I'd find out what it was. But every every time I picked up anything by Joseph Joseph, it's always sold okay. So whatever it is, it'll turn out to be worth chucking it into my handful of stuff. Also in my handful of stuff, it's a very bizarre mix. A Rexel double punch, A4 hole puncher. I don't know whether it was sell or not. I don't know what was going through my head this morning with my buying. I didn't want to be there, I don't think. I don't know what we got. I got up and I went out happily enough, but I was walking around going, I don't want anything. I don't want to buy any of this. Very odd. And this collection, which I only really bought because I want this item. So it's a ladies, I said it's a ladies, it's a it's a it's a key ring, it's not necessarily for ladies, is it? Anyone can carry a bloody key ring. But it is a key ring with a load of personal useful stuff on it. So firstly you've got your your strap that can go on your wrist. And then you've got a personal alarm hanging on there. I'm not going to press that because Molly's here and I feel like it would frighten her out of her skin, bless her. There's a little thing with hand sanitizer on there. Now, if it were me, I would probably take the hand sanitizer out and replace that with a couple of poo bags. It's more useful for us. And then there is a bottle opener, which would be absolutely useless for me. And this is the bit we wanted. There is a whistle. So quite a high pitched whistle. Molly, I'm sorry, I did make her jump, but not as much as I would if I'd set off the rape alarm, I don't think. <laughs> and the whistle is indeed for the dogs. So we have we have one whistle that's on one of the dog's leads. And I just said to Ant, another whistle would be useful to put on one of the other leads. So that if you haven't got, we don't always pick up the same leads. We've got a lot of leads in this house. And sometimes you pick up different ones for different reasons. So a useful, a whistle on one of the others would be useful. They're pretty good at coming when you blow the whistle. They are pretty pretty well trained to that even Bella Bella's Bella I would say is the one who pushes it the most and even she's pretty good so what I will do is I will put the whistle on the dog leads I will keep the leopard print key hanging strap and possibly this bit but I don't know what I keep that for I could put my car key in I suppose yeah and, and the rest is just bump that was a very long-winded way of showing you that wasn't it and then the last item in my six pound from Steve is a Lakeland silicon chocolate mold shells I think it's silicon 
Oh, it's not it's not silicon it's hard plastic it allows you to make 24 shell-shaped truffles or filled trufflets and lakeland stuff is usually worth grabbing that was everything that that little lot cost me six pounds and and that's everything i bought from steve this morning and then the only other thing i bought at easter compton and this was at the very last minute before i went back to the car is a box of vintage class christmas decorations so they are just hanging decorations I think they're all pretty much in good nick apart from this one has no string on it but I did think that perhaps I might take just the plastic top of this 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 little one or something you know I might sacrifice another to make one worth having there's a couple of those old ones but they're in fairly poor cool nick pink fur cone a bell which seems to have something broken inside about the same things Darcy, a little teardrop ornament. So yeah, an assortment of Christmas ornaments, and that was a pound. I waited for ages to pay for these. What's up, Darcy? That's in quite nice condition, bearing in mind uh, how old it is. That clips onto the tree. So has a little clip and clips onto the branch. Yeah, there was a there was a house clearance guy, and he was still getting stuff out of his van, and he was absolutely being bombarded, really being bombarded by customers. Look at that vintage glitter star for the top. And I waited for ages and ages and ages to pay for this stuff. And I stood there thinking, I wonder how much he'll say. I bet he says a fiver. Do I want to pay a fiver? I suppose it's worth a fiver. If he says a fiver, that's not too bad. Yeah, I think I'll be happy to pay a fiver. I'm not paying more than a fiver. Maybe he'll say three. But I'm quite happy with three. And when he said a pound, I was like, I'm delighted with that. So one pound for a box of vintage assorted glass Christmas baubles. I don't know what I can get for them, but I know I can get more than a pound. And that was everything from Easter Compton. Huge fly, obviously. I've got the window wide open because I was thinking there'll be a fly. I'll open the window for the fly. The flies come in through it instead of going out. The other stuff that I bought was from Clifton, as I said. And there's still not a lot. Even though it's an Ikea bag, I just left the trolley in the car. So I paid £2 for a Edward Gorey Dracula in Dr. Dr. Seawood? Dr. Seawood's library. Black and grey jigsaw puzzle. It's 500 pieces. And it's pomegranate art piece puzzles. It looks like it'd be an absolute demon to do. Doesn't look like it would be fun to do at all, does it? I thought that was worth picking up because it looked like it might have been a little bit pricey in the beginning. I paid £1 for a Casio FX991ES Plus calculator with case. I paid £1 each for these to Terry Pratchett paperbacks. Now I've got everything Terry Pratchett wrote, so I don't need them, but I bought them to sell. They're a bit dusty. The lady had a box of hardbacks as well, and she said the paperbacks are a pound and the hardbacks are two pound fifty. And I looked at them and they're about nine that I would have bought Terry Pratchett's. And I said to her, how much would you do if I did all of them? She said, oh, there's nine there. That would be 22 pound 50. I could do 22 pounds. And I just thought, I don't, no, I'll leave it. Thank you. I, I just, I, I didn't want rock bottom. Obviously, love rock bottom, but I didn't expect her to go, oh, there's nine there. That would be 22 50 You could have them for a quid. I didn't expect that. But I did expect her to be a little bit more reasonable than I'll knock 50p off. I thought knocking 50p off was a bit... So I didn't bother to pursue that. And then the last few bits, two pairs of earrings. Why I was buying earrings, I don't know, because you know me, I don't normally buy sparkly stuff. But two pairs of earrings. I thought these were quite nice. And Lex, well, if I ask Lex nicely, she will tell me some relevant keywords that I can use when listing them. So they're kind of, they are pierced. No, they're not, they're clip-ons, I tell lies. God, I tell lies. They are clip-ons, I've already got my earrings in, so this is probably, there we go, gosh, they're heavy. I don't think I could comfortably wear that. I don't know how people wear clip-on earrings, but ah, how, how do you get it off? Ow, 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 ow. Regrets, instant regret. So yeah, those are clip-ons and very heavy. I wonder if people actually take that into consideration when they design earrings, that if you're going to clip them on, they've got to be lightweight. And then these, which I suspect would be silver, although I'm not sure now. Those are quite pretty. They were a pound each pair. Oh, that really hurt. They were a pound each pair. And then the last thing I bought was this mug. Now, I can see that it's Disney. See, it's Disney because it's on the bottom Disney store. It says protect the herd. I'm good. I don't recognise these characters. I don't know whether Natalie would. Natalie, can you come and have a look at this mug and tell me if you recognise these characters and what film they might be from? Well, sometimes you know stuff. 
Zootopia. She wants to the say Black Zootopia, Black which is not like, something I've ever heard of. That graph looks like the one from Madagascar. But I think I recognise the fox from Zootopia. I've never seen it. Okay, so. she thinks she recognises the fox from Zootopia. She said the giraffe looks from Madagascar. I don't know. I genuinely do not know what this is from. But it's a large mug and it was Disney and it was a pound. And so I bought it. Reader, I married him. Name that book. That's it. That is the haul and all of the haul and short and not particularly sweet it is indeed today. But um, I just, I didn't, I wasn't feeling it. I was not feeling the buy vibe. Just not feeling it. Maybe next week will be better. Maybe next week I will go to Dursley. We liked the Dursley one. We had a nice time there. Maybe I'll go there. Maybe I'll do that. Thank you for joining me for this one. As always, if you've seen anything in this pitiful small quantity of stuff that floats your boat, let me know and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye for now.